Hi, I'm JD with Peak 44, and today we're going to go over how to install the recoil lug on the Tika Blacktooth stock. First, we're going to take the recoil lug that is included, and we're going to clean it off with alcohol. Um, you can either use an alcohol wipe or denatured alcohol on a Q-tip, just obviously to get this nice and clean um, before we're going to put the two-part epoxy on there. I'm going to get all the surfaces. We're going to let that dry for just a moment. We already have our two-part epoxy pre-mixed for time's sake. You don't need a lot, so we're just going to wet this area right here where the recoil lug is going to sit. You want to get in all the little crevices if you can, and you want to be careful not to put too much in there. Uh, when you put that lug in, it is going to squish that bedding compound back out of there. Now that the lug is nice and dry, we're also going to apply it on all the surfaces that it's going to be touching. When you install, you want to make sure to bottom this out. So you're going to stick it in there. It's pretty easy for it to bottom out. Um, take something simple like a Q-tip and just clean up some of this excess. Once that's set in there, you're going to leave that overnight to cure. So after this is cured for 24 hours, this is what it should look like. Um, as you can see, it's nice and clean in there. That recoil lug's not going to come out. Um, now you can install the barreled action, uh, torque this to 55 pounds, and you're ready to go shoot. For more information on Tika or any of the other inlets we offer, go to peak44.com.